Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be an energy read for you today, full Celtic cross. Energy read for you. Clear your mind. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie L. Ford. And uh, these are Los Scarabio cards. And I got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that, they're, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and, and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The, um, I've not put them in the box well. The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a uh, of very uh, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you can have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. Okay, so we'll see what we get for Tarot Tuesday. Energy read for the whole day. So this is like looking out the window. Let's see if you're going to use a sweater today or not. Just got to get a feel for how to go about what's uh, facing you. So we'll give this a quick shuffle or two or three. Try to take a deep breath and let it out. Give your mind a good shake think about your fingernail or a spot on the wall or something in your teeth and then just let everything go and we'll see if what comes forward in these cards is useful for you today so you might even want to come back and look at this again at the end of the day and say oh okay that's that's what that was Okay, so tarot, energy read for today. Five, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll see what the signifier is for us today. Okay, so this is, gosh... This is the Four of Wands. Yes, it sure is. So there are the Four of Wands right there. That's the Four. And it does have a suggested a suggested uh, thought for this card. It's called Perfected Work. Perfected Work. So the Four of Wands for me is some of that. For me, it's the Wands are action and uh, forward moving and plans and uh, motion. But um, the Four of Wands for me are small celebrations. And so you've got that here. You've got a huge church behind just this little um, uh, arbor that's going to be set up here for whatever this little uh, celebration is. Although they've got a nice wreath on the front, but that's a smallish uh, celebration. So the challenge to that is going to be the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. And what is it they call it here? It's uh, shortened. I can't read the last part of it. But it's feeling trapped. You know, the thing is, this person is being stopped from moving forward, but, I mean, they can wriggle, they can shake, they can shed these binds, and then see that, in fact, uh, they can move forward. So, these small celebrations are challenged by some sort of feeling of being trapped. Uh, the basis of this reading, then, 
is the, what are you then? The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. So this knight, this card is so dark. This knight is a really a steadfast. I mean, he's coming forward with his truth, with his value. And he's saying, here's what it is, and this is where we're going to go with this. So that's really coming into this issue on a short foot. And then the past of this reading is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is just, you know, talk about wands being fired. Here we go. This woman is ready to put these plans into motion and uh, and really walk through the fire to get it done. So that's how we came to this. And then in the sky of this reading is the, huh, what number are you? So you're the Four of Cups. And this is called uh, Blended Pleasure. Blended Pleasure. Four of Cups. This fellow to me, I mean, he's not he's not looking so forward to this cup that's being offered to him. And it's a smallish kind of offer. I mean, we're used to seeing like an ace, an ace of cups when you see the hand of God come out of the sky. So this is something that maybe he's not uh, expected or not wanted or not even necessary. But uh, that's what's in the sky here. So uh, aiming uh, for less than, um, I don't know, doesn't seem like the best plan, but maybe we should keep our expectations low today. Okay, so in the future of this reading then is going to be the Hierophant. And, uh, you know, that's uh, rules, um, really a structure to go by. It could be uh, your religion, your faith. It could be your uh, core beliefs. It could simply be the rules at the office, you know, or how this house works, where we live in. So uh, that's what we've got there so far. So now we're going to go for the last part of this energy read for today. Oh, boy. And then we'll go through the whole thing to get a better definition of what we've got there. And is this, are these correct? I'm not going to put these down upside down. Yeah, I'm shuffled. Oh, kind of out of sorts today. Got a late start getting this done. Okay. Four more cards for the self of this reading for your energy reading for today. Okay, this says the um, earthly power. So this is the Emperor. So that's a terrific card to get, as a matter of fact. I mean, the Emperor is absolutely uh, with the four of uh, wands that we have here and the four of cups that we've got up here. You know, this is uh, starting to have a, uh, a sequence. Um, but anyway, the Emperor is a terrific self to be in that's fully in charge of your power. I mean, even more so than the king. So the, the uh, environment that this Emperor is in is what? So these are, okay. These are the, this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is really perfecting your craft, getting this down right, you know, making sure that every detail is exactly as it should be. Nothing wrong with any of that. The um, hopes and the fears for this, the King of Swords. So swords are rules, justice. I would say this has to do with, with rules here. Something was keeping, something, the challenge was being felt being by being trapped, but I think uh, the hope is that we uh, really uh, take control of that and get our justice. And then the likely outcome for all of this, right here, is going to be the Princess of Cups. So this is going to be like the Page of Cups. And so cups are emotion, uh, passions, and uh, it's funny that we end up with two cups up here at the top. And um, I would say this Page of Cups is uh, the best we can hope for this day is to come home with a big, a dose of uh, compassion or, you know, understanding for whatever is going on. So we started out with the Four of Wands, which are smaller celebrations, but being felt a bit bound up, uh, but we came into it strong with whatever the plan was that, uh, or the, uh, the, the, the self-worth that we had when we started this day. Um, in the past, we had the Queen of uh, Wands, who was just a, a fiery passion to get this plan uh, moving, maybe not wanting so much to get it done or the way it's going to be done, but uh, really uh, being... Um, you know, I think this is you in the end, really being uh, in charge of the situation. Because, look, yeah, in the self here is the uh, emperor, again, really taking control of what's going on, getting it to perfection. And this king of swords, uh, understanding your truth, your worth, your value, your justice. And then um, with this uh, page of cups, in the end, not needing to take it all. Okay, and coming back with an offer of some cups to say, okay, this is really all I need today. Or let me offer this to you to finish off your day. I think that's nice. Well, uh, that was a great read. They had a couple of nice, strong uh, cards in there for you. I mean, with the Hierophant and the um, and the uh, uh, Emperor. So that was terrific. So that puts together a good day. I hope it works out that way for you. Uh, let me know about it. Send a comment. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.